Authoring Singleton is more than just a hairstylist. She's an educator. I saw the need and I wanted to be the answer. I wanted to be the resource to those families. Ever since high school, Authoring has had a passion for doing hair. And after getting her master's in social work and working in child welfare services, she learned she could actually fuse the fields. I saw a lot of children that were placed in homes um, with caregivers who cared for them, you know, mentally, physically and all that, but didn't know how to take care of their hair. So 11 years ago, Authoring opened Master's Touch Hair Salon in Bloomington, offering standard hair services and opportunities to educate and empower. She hosts group classes and one-on-one -on -one sessions about the basics and cultural complexities of black hair, targeting foster and adoptive families like Sarah and Rakia Duvendak. I did some stuff with the girls' hair, but um, if I wanted something more intricate, you know, cornrow braids or um, at the time beading and stuff that I didn't know how I learned along the way, Authorine has been working with the Duvendax for about 10 years. Rakia, now 12, says she appreciates the help. I like it, but, um, and it makes me feel happy when I see my hair. There's a learning curve, but um, we've, we've come a, a long way, and I want them to, uh, you know, appreciate their hair and, and feel confident, and it doesn't have to look like my hair. And while the learning process takes time, Authorine hopes it has a lasting effect. I want young ladies to feel good about themselves. I don't want them to have to be an adult to know that they are beautiful, that they can be confident. In Bloomington, Shelby Roberts, WMBD News.